Only in America does real life tend to emulate art, since the Princess Leia character was magically projected in 3D during the original Star Wars film. People have wondered if such a technology might really be possible. What I'm talking about here is streaming holographic images. A University of Arizona team says it has devised a system that can make a holographic display appear in another place and update it in near real time. There appears to be huge potential. Imagine a very complicated surgical procedure, then with this system, surgeons around the world could participate. We foresee many applications, for example in manufacturing, said Professor Nasa Pegambarian from Arizonian College of Optical Sciences. He continued that car manufacturers of, or aeroplane manufacturers could look at holograms and design their systems in real time. They could look at 3D models and make changes as they go. Only in America. The system was actually demonstrated this week and it's far from the finished product, but it gives a very strong hint of what might be achievable with further refinements. At its heart is a new plastic screen material, a polymer that can record 3D holographic images time and time again, and it's refreshed every couple of seconds. So let me explain. Many different perspectives of the object of a person are captured on a series of cameras arranged in a circle around the individual. And that information is simply sent across the net to enable the image to be conceivably seen anywhere in the world. A 3D holographic printing system receives the information and writes the images to update the screen. And it updates a photosensitive polymer every couple of seconds, creating a changing hologram so it effectively brings the image or the person to you in 3D. Unlike other technologies, no glasses are needed to see the images, merely some form of illumination. The holographic image is built from many viewers' views of those numerous cameras. The first commercial products could be available in a few years' time. If you like this video, you're welcome to like it. If you'd like to share it, send it to a friend, please do so using the technology in YouTube. Uh, and of course, go ahead and subscribe right away and you'll be the first to know and receive our next news bulletin. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you soon.